story of Chinese immigration to Canada is generally well known, particularly the story of Canadian immigrants and workers who built a very difficult part of the Trans-Canada Railway, which in turn forged the making of this country from coast to coast. But there are many individual stories about Chinese Canadians that are less well known. This year, I want to remember one such individual, Frederick Lee. He was one of roughly 300 Chinese Canadians who served with the Canadian Corps during the First World War. Fred Lee fought for his country at a time when he did not have the right to vote in a Canadian election. He and the many thousands of other Chinese Canadians. This was also a time when the Chinese in this country had to pay a head tax in order to come to Canada. It was a time when Chinese faced much bigotry and violence precisely because of their racial background. But Fred Lee served his country nevertheless. He was shipped off to France where he fought and survived in the famous battle of uh, Vimy Ridge, uh, going on to fight in another uh, less well-known but uh, also important battle at what's called Hill 70. There he fell and uh, it's remembered today as one of our uh, fallen heroes in the Battle of Hill 70. He was a Chinese Canadian hero and he inspired the next generation of Chinese Canadians to serve their country in the Second World War and beyond, uh, which was a big factor in eventually tearing down the unfair immigration laws uh, that prevented Chinese from coming to this country and which allowed Chinese to eventually get the vote in the federal elections. Unfortunately, we don't know much more about Fred Lee. But he is an exemplar of so many other individual Chinese Canadians and other Asian Canadians that we don't know much about, who nevertheless made very, very large contributions to our country and to our history. Fred Lee and so many others who remain unknown, unnamed, remind us that Asian Canadians and in this case, the Chinese Canadians have always been and will always be at the heart of the Canadian story.